In this video, we're simply going to install Yarn, which is a faster package manager, manager that is an alternative to NPM. And I like it because it uh, makes my package installs so much faster. To install Yarn, go to yarnpkg.com and you'll know you're at the right spot when you see this really weird cat blasting off into space because that's how fast Yarn is. Now I've converted from using NPM, latest NPM, to using Yarn because Yarn is just, um, by my calculations, about like 10 times faster. Uh, oftentimes I run NPM install just uh, whenever I pull in changes just to make sure that I have all the most up-to-date things and that could take anywhere between 1 to 5 minutes even if no packages were updated or changed. With Yarn, it knows that I have all the packages and it exits really quickly, like after maybe 5 to 10 seconds. And uh, the rest of the time that I would use waiting on NPM, better use programming. So let's install Yarn. Just click on the big white uh, install Yarn button. Choose your operating system. I use Mac, so you'll run brew install Yarn. Um, if you don't have Homebrew, then uh, go ahead and install Homebrew. It's really important that you use Homebrew um, just in general when you have a Mac because it's a really convenient way to install a lot of things. Um, and if you use NVM or Node Version Manager, then you'll want to run the dash dash without node um, flag so that way um, it uses NVM's version of Node. Um, if you use Windows, then you can use the MSI file, or you can, um, and this is actually new to me, use something called Chocolatey, uh, which sounds a lot cooler than um, Homebrew. Um, I wish there was a Chocolatey Mac version, uh, just because I like chocolate. But um, you can just run Choco install yarn, and it will um, install yarn for you. And uh, in case if you use Scoop instead of Chocolatey, then you can use Scoop install. Um, how about a scoop of chocolatey ice cream? It seems like somebody who was making packages for Windows was really in the mood for dessert. And there's a whole bunch of other ways you can install yarn as well. Yarn dash version. And here we see that we are using 1.5.1. Um, I can't really imagine how yarn's API can change but um, if you happen to be on a different version of Yarn and some commands don't work, uh, make sure that you find out how the API has changed so that way um, you can uh, go ahead and see what changed and update your commands accordingly.